Amazon y ya. Eso yo creo que ya todo lo hemos sabido. Bueno, los que se la pasan en Twitch. No Poop July might be TikTok's dumbest challenge. Some treat it like a joke, others take it seriously. And while it's giving users hundreds of millions of views, it's also infuriating the entire medical field. No Poop July is taking over TikTok, and some doctors are hoping users do not take the challenge seriously. The trend was first started by TikToker OK Cron, who with just a couple thousand followers, posted this initial video in July 2000. 2020. At this point in time, ridiculous challenges were TikTok's claim to fame, helping OKCron OK go viral, amassing 84,000 likes. The majority of viewers simply laughed about the concept, but with Cron himself commenting, can I make it till the end, he'd posed a serious question. Was it actually possible to go 31 days without pooping? Another user urged Cron that he shouldn't even try, yet he still proceeded to his second day. By slightly increasing the strain on his face, Cron gained a further almost half a million likes, which after again repeating on day three, showed how instantly popular the challenge was becoming. Other TikTokers therefore began to beg, can we please not make this a thing? Yet OK Cron dismissed him as a hater who'd already failed. Then by day number five, the challenge was also criticized by Reddit. And while some commenters asked what goes on in TikTokers' heads to make something like this, others thought it was hilarious. How did I not know about No Poop July until now? By day number eight, OK Cron himself squeezed out a little smile, yet by day 10, the struggle had returned. He looks like he's in genuine pain. That's because I am. When questioned on day 11, how am I holding it in? Hit state answer is on the hat, which was. Tengo una pregunta. No se supone que cuando ustedes no hacen del cuerpo humano, como en este caso el 2, no se supone que ustedes se empiezan a. a tener como fuertes dolores de estómago que después se vuelve súper irritable. Yo, yo creo que es más eso. Y ya entre más ustedes hacen eso, yo creo que es imposible como levantarse y hacer cualquier vaina. O sea, sea puedes agacharse o algo was branded with the Flex Seal logo. However, this only helped temporarily as on day 18 he was totally exposed. I think someone snuck into my house. He's using the bathroom. I swear, this is all a big misunderstanding. A big misunderstanding? It's no poop July. I'm gonna expose you. Okay, Cron therefore made a sad announcement. I have failed no poop July. Understandably, he shared his devastation. It just slipped. It just slipped. I don't know what to say. It just slipped. So you shit yourself. Yet the very next day, he revealed he was still going. Cron had seemingly used his one free poop coupon, which allowed for one emergency dump without disqualification. To ensure it didn't happen again, he'd throw away all his toilet paper, lock up the toilet, throw away all his toilet paper again, and lock himself out of his bathroom. This inspired others to join in on the challenge, which it seemed OK Cron didn't really appreciate. <laughs> he started I am the trend of this month. Copycats, however, Maria didn't Vitubert. slow him down as double. OK Cron successfully beat Thank the you so much for the follow. or did he? When double. told you better not be pooping Thank off the for the follow. OK Cron responded, I'm not. Yet Cron's friend then exposed him by showing it was fake. You might know him as the kid who hasn't pooped for 26 days. But today, he found proof that he lied to himself. No poop July, though. Did you fail? Be real. Yeah, obviously. Like, I'd be in the hospital, but... It was pretty damn obvious that the whole thing was it's a joke. Of the camera. I mean, nobody would actually be stupid enough to try this challenge for real, right? Well, people began the question. What if you drank liquid vitamin, protein, and fats? What if you drank a liquid form of all the resources you need to live, never eating solid mass again? Could you maybe get away with never pooping again? One person responded, I lasted 10 days. I had to go to the hospital though, and it was 2015. Never tried it again, just as a different TikTok. In 2015, alguien duró 10 días y tuvo que irse al hospital. Hello? O sea, como? Wey, más de tres días, yo la una misión imposible. By the way, Maria, thank you so much for the follow. I think you speak English. But thank you, man. And I need to see the, the alert, but that will be later. Because I'm watching a, an interesting video to, to YouTube. 
TikTok was also going viral. This guy held in his poop for 47 days. When he was pulled over, cops realized he ate something right before they came up to the window. He had swallowed drugs that were in his car. And while he was waiting behind bars, Lamar went on a poop strike. He simply refused to go to the bathroom altogether. He didn't go to the bathroom for literally 47 straight days. This showed that the challenge was in fact possible, supported by a Reddit post giving countless other anecdotes. I've gone two months without a bowel movement. It hurts a lot and drains my energy, but it's happened a few times before. Usually it's just around one month though. I literally did not go to the toilet for a whole month after I effed up my bowels through laxative abuse. I was constipated for more than three weeks while pregnant. It was awful, but I didn't die. Although sadly, none of these people recorded it for their TikTok. That would be until Shireen and Kathy Doll came along. Oh my so God. Here I am on day 33 of not doing a poo. My tummy is in agony. I have stomach cramps constantly. It is so, so painful. She'd been in and out of hospital as she simply couldn't poo. So I managed to date a big shite and that's me at the hospital now. I nearly fucking blocked the toilet fan. <laughs> She'd therefore shift her TikToks to document her journey, beginning perhaps coincidentally right at the start of July. I am just at the bath and look at my tummy. I am bigger than anybody holding like two triplets at eight months pregnant. As shown, Shireen looked like she was pregnant, with her involuntary no poop July looking like it'd soon be ending. I am getting surgery tomorrow. God, it's taken so long to get here, but I am so grateful. The surgery was successful, concluding her no poop poop July on the 21st, whilst other TikTokers like It's MacDougall were still clearly struggling to beat it. OK Cron had returned for another year, with significantly higher production value, although this time receiving much more criticism. Perhaps due to Shireen's journey, Cron's 2022 No Poop July featured an automatic TikTok disclaimer reading, Se habían tardado un poquito los de TikTok como más de dos años para hacer esto, ¿no? Participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt. Despite this, the challenge went even more viral than ever, gaining over 800,000 likes on his very first episode in 2022. Yes, it's back, but at what cost? By refining and perfecting his constipation face, OK Cron cracked a million likes for the first time on day 20, and by day 29, the entire squad was there to offer their support. He'd celebrate its complete completion by wearing his finest suit, which became his most watched video with over 18 million views. I didn't win in 2020 and I lost in 2021, but this year I did it. Thank you to everyone who supported me along the way. Doctors, however, weren't impressed by OK Cron's achievement. I'm Dr. Justin Sloan and I'm here to tell you that there are consequences to not having a bowel movement and these range from hemorrhoids all the way up to bowel obstruction. No Poop July jokes are all over TikTok. Some some doctors urge users not to try it for real. The NBC article written as the month was finishing read, some doctors warned that the trend should remain a joke, saying those who are successful at holding in their bowel movements could cause issues like hemorrhoids and a temporary dependence on laxatives for regular bowel movements. It's a funny thing to joke about, but it's a potentially serious thing to do, said Dr. Stephen Miller, a pediatric gastroenterologist at Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Ironically, however, this media exposure only made the challenge even more popular, but if you follow the graph a little further, you'll see no that the July you. was still only getting started. In 2023, even more TikTokers joined the challenge, such as Hulkmania Stanley, who basically just copied OK Cron's formula, unfortunately failing to add anything new. OK Cron himself had also barely changed anything, so despite again winning the challenge and joking about toilet eruption August, it seemed No Poop July was getting old, stale, and stinky. That would be until 2024, oh when my OK God. Cron took the challenge to a whole new level. The month began with a crazy announcement. The No Poop July video game is officially available for pre-save in the App Store. He'd built an NPJ video game in which you have to run around shooting various pieces of food. It features weapons such as the toilet paper pistol, a full line of in-game cosmetics, and a new boss for every day of July. 
upon its release, Cron would announce, NPJ is the number one game in the world. Amazing game, life-changing, managed to get out of the divorce and take back custody of my kids after showing the judge NPJ. And No Poop July itself still hadn't even started. In addition to the game, Cron teased the challenge with its own official trailer, which did eventually manage to live up to the hype. Every single day had its own funny outfit, dressing up American for the 4th, as Yoda for the 8th, and Skibbity Toilet for day 22. After the month eventually ended, Cron had officially achieved the MPJ 3 peak, yet he still wasn't finished. He'd announced that he'd made an official MPJ movie, and while this seemed like just another joke, it actually had a super wholesome twist. Cron explained towards the end, toilet paper is often overlooked in donation drives, yet it is one of the most essential and under-donated toiletries globally. He'd therefore spend almost a thousand dollars on it, explaining since I didn't have to poop for the entire month of July, it would instead be donated to a local charity. Perhaps even more impressively, OKCron OK had milked the 31 days for 103 different MPJ TikToks, but I guess it's not a bad idea, given the challenge is seasonal and is also getting old. Viewers have commented the meme has been dead for over a year. Just let it go. Yet OKCron OK believes he'll still be doing NPJ in 2089. Algo que yo nunca voy a entender son los TikTokers de hoy en día. Nunca lo voy a entender. Y en sí sí me han salido no solo videos de algunos de esas de esas personas, sino que vainas son mucho más raras. Y yo no entiendo cómo es que se vuelven cada más virales. Y eso engancha a la gente. O sea, no, nunca voy a entender eso. No, no, no sé por qué la gente le, le atrae este tipo de atención. ¿no? Que dicen, no, esto es súper divertido. No, no aguantar. No, nunca voy a entender esa vida. De, de verdad que la gente es como, como rarita a veces. Güey, ¿por qué? B busca ayuda. No, no sé. Ve, ve al hospital. Interna tiene una clínica psiquiátrica. No sé, pero, pero necesitas ayuda.